Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors. Now today's video, y'all, we're going to be deciding on which broadhead I would like to use for my vintage bow build, vintage, vintage retro bow build. Okay, uh, but before we get into that, y'all, uh, I am going to be using the East End 2117 Black Soccer Aluminum Arrows that I've already showed you guys and did a review on. If you guys want to see any of my broadheads that I own, there are individual reviews on each broadhead uh, on my channel. Just scroll through all the videos. Um, eventually, I'll make playlists. Um, but I did some research. Okay, this 2117 Easton Black Stalker arrow has a spine of 400. Okay, so it's a 400 spine arrow. The Moosin car, or Moosin aluminum arrows I ordered on Amazon, which I'm waiting for. Are a 300 spine arrow, so they're 2219. But they're made in China. They say they're 300 spine, but Easton's 2219 say 350 spine, so there might be a little discrepancy there. Um, but the two broadheads that I have, if I was to take this, okay, and I was to put the, and this is the PG1 Archery um, 100 grain fixed blade broadhead and it does it does uh, use replaceable points because you can unscrew this back here and it it lets you replace the blades in it anyways uh, this is 100 grains okay and you can pay like $12.99 for 12 of these which is why I picked them up but they're remnants of the old muzzies okay the thing is they're big and when I tested these Back in like March, and I shot a bunch of broadheads out of my other bow. These ones shot true. They shot the best. I hit almost hit the bullseye with it. I was really, really impressed. Re impressed. I cannot talk today. So to keep the nostalgia, I wanted to do a big fixed blade broadhead. Okay. So with this all together, 400 spines you're looking at. Let me look at the chart real quick. It'll tell me how many grains per inch. It'll give me a really close comparison here. Um, okay, so the 2117s have a spine of 400. Their weight is 349 grains, okay? So I'll be sitting at about 449 grains altogether with this arrow setup. With the 2219s, you're looking at a 399 grain arrow, and it's saying it's a 337 spine, so pretty much a 330 spine. You're looking at 400 plus 100, almost a 500 grain arrow, so these would, that would be a lot heavier. Okay. Um, but the other... Um, broadheads that I wanted to use is is kind of a vintage style. All right, we'll take one out. This is a Spider Max Speed by Allen. It's a three blade mechanical broadhead, but it's called the Spider Max Speed because it's only sitting at 85 grains. Okay, which would be perfect for a carbon arrow. See that tip's coming off. There we go. Perfect for a carbon arrow, but. I don't know if I really want to use this one. They got a little ring that comes down and then all the blades open up like this. Okay. I've shot mechanicals. I have some rage, like generic rages and stuff. Again, if you guys want to see any of my broadhead videos, you guys can check those out on my channel. Um, but really, um, these are going to be a lot lighter. And I thought I wanted to stick with a heavier arrow and a bigger broadhead like they would have used back in the 80s and 90s. Things like that. So, in my opinion, I think I'm going to stick with the PG-1 Archery fixed blade. It's just bigger. Um, and that, but if I ever wanted to switch over mechanicals, then I do have this three blade mechanical broadhead by Allen. So, uh, that's where I think I'm going to go with it. I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do, but when I 
started this video and I started thinking about it going back and forth, I was like, you know what? We're going to go fixed blade, broadhead. And I have 12 of these in case I mess some up. I only have three of these and I gotta fix the package here in a second. So y'all, this was just me uh, making another video. I got a bunch of days off next week. Me and Man Man 98 will probably go shoot sometime next week together at her parents' house and have an aluminum arrow vintage bow shoot off. I'm not sure what day yet, but you guys stay tuned to that video and I can't wait to see how this thing goes. Um, see how it shoots. It'll be real fun. So y'all remember like comment subscribe. Sorry for the lighting. I don't like it. It's just it Puts a glare on me right now. So remember like comment subscribe Well before I go the PG1 archery. I bought these on eBay. They come in a nice case like this Okay, again They come padded and everything like that Okay, so if you guys want to pick these up, they're decent broadheads for a dollar a broadhead. So, put that in before, before I get cut. So remember y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.